Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is May. I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. So let's dive right in. Today we're talking about Cardi B playing us. So Cardi B played us. She essentially lied to us, to be honest with you. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, make sure to stick around for the rest of this video to find out more. And don't forget to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and smash that subscribe button. On the kitchen floor, right on that towel. It's my dick and I want it now, pal. Tell me how you want it. Put me on my back, on my stomach. Baby, let me blow it like a trumpet. I could do it all. I really liked, I for one really liked this video. It gave me very Aaliyah vibes. I don't know why, but it gave me Aaliyah vibes. This artist, Normani, gave me very Aaliyah vibes. So maybe she's trying to be, you know, uh, she's trying to follow in the same footsteps as Aaliyah there. Uh, I also really like the way her body looks here. Um, I know that it's altered, there's filters here. Uh, you know, there's oil on her body. They make it really shiny. So it's not really, it's not the real version, the realest version of her body. But still, I mean, the shape reminds me more of my body shape, which makes me happy to see because you don't often see that. You just don't often see that when it comes to um, artists and what they try to portray. Uh, they often go overboard on that. And so... I'm happy to see a version that at least comes a little bit closer to what I feel like mine is. And I'm happy to see that she's black also. I mean, I'm sorry to say, <laughs> but you know, Aaliyah was more mixed and very light skinned and it looks like she's following Aaliyah's footsteps, which is awesome because I love Aaliyah. And I also love the fact that she's full on black. So it gives us a different take and a different perspective. Social media is a fantasy. It's a fairy tale. It's what you make of it. It's for artists. It's for creative artists. So you don't want to then start taking what you see in social media and trying to apply that to your personal life. Because what you're seeing in social media is not real. What you're seeing in social media is a made up story, made up context of what typically human beings enjoy watching. It's based on entertainment. And what we do most of the time is we see these things as young people, especially the younger generation, we see these things and then we start to compare ourselves with what we're seeing on social media. But Cardi B has actually shown us a great example of why you shouldn't do that. Why you shouldn't sit on social media and start consuming so much content that it starts making you question parts of your life or the entirety of your life or having you compare yourself to someone else. It's just not accurate and it's not healthy from a mental health perspective. So I think it's important to take time out to really understand what this is teaching us. What this is teaching us is that what you see on social media just ain't real. Those models that you're following that look like they have the perfect body don't actually look like that in real life. For the most part, they have blemishes. They have, they have probably stretch marks just like the rest of us. But when they post these pictures, they don't show us that. They don't show us the realness of it. So we need to be savvy enough and in tune enough with reality to know how to distinguish between entertainment and social media and reality in real life. So this scene is actually the scene where Cardi B is full on pregnant. And you can tell by her face that she's full on pregnant. Her face is quite chubbier. But what they did is they used their long hair to cover up Cardi's B, Cardi B's very large baby bump. And so we would never really know otherwise if she hadn't come clean to us that she was pregnant. This is another reason why you have to be so careful what you consume in social media or how you're consuming social media because it's not so much the fact that you are consuming the content it's how you're consuming it you need to definitely understand that the way that you see these people on their social media on music videos wherever 
is not the way that they are in real life. And you need to remind yourself of that every single day to make sure that you're keeping the right perspective on things and not comparing yourself to unrealistic things and unrealistic standards. So here we can see that Cardi B during this whole video, she's actually pregnant and they just managed to find a creative way to cover it up the whole time. It's crazy, right? So you would never know, but that's why she's covered up the whole time. And that's why the shots are from the back. It's because they don't want us to see her front. But notice how not a single shot involves the front of her body. Notice how that is. And the reason that is is because during the entirety of this video, she's actually bruggers. And of course, they don't want to pick up the video. So they focused on her backside and focused on pretty much covering it up. It was very, very surprising to her fans and the world in general because Cardi B has been pregnant for several, several months already. In fact, at this point, she's almost about to give birth. She hid the majority of her pregnancy from us this entire time. What's even more confusing is that she was posting this whole time. So she was posting on Instagram, posting on uh, YouTube and social media. Now I did notice that her posting on Instagram slowed down a lot. She wasn't posting as much, but she was still posting. And I thought that it was probably because she was maybe working on new songs, new albums and that was the reason why she wasn't posting as much and you weren't really hearing as much on cardi b but come to find out it's because she is pregnant and has been very pregnant for quite some time pictures that she posted is this picture right here this is actually something that cardi b posted a video on telling us and showing us how she went about playing us while she was pregnant with her pictures and things like that also, her new video just came out. And if we take a look at the video, we can see that Cardi B is ultra pregnant in this video. But what they do is they find creative ways to cover that up to where you cannot tell that this lady is pregnant. They take more shots from the back, which as we all know, no one will complain about. And they also take more shots on the side and they do creative things in order to cover the fact that she's pregnant and so had she not let us know we would probably not know that cardi b is pregnant and she's expecting a child now do i disagree with this no because i think cardi b has experienced what it's like to be in the public eye while pregnant when she had her first daughter before she when she was pregnant with her first daughter she went through that everyone knew as soon as she got pregnant everyone was there during the entirety of the process so she has experienced that and has come to the conclusion clearly that that is not the type of pregnancy that she prefers to have and i will say that it's because that is too stressful that is more stress than any human being should have to deal with and so she has chosen the path of silence until now which quite frankly is probably healthier for her and healthier for the baby because we need to keep the stress levels at a bare minimum i'm so happy for cardi b i think that she is a very very smart lady smart young lady because cardi b has always said that she wants a big family and she did go through the whole scandal of having offset cheat on her but she has chosen to forgive offset since then and now they have another child in the way i think that that's a savvy business move on her part because it is always the best option to have all the kids that you want to have with one person and then if you want to break up or you just want to co-parent that's fine but you want to if you can make that business decision the other person might not know you're making the business decision but if you can stick around and have all the kids with just one person it saves you a lot of trouble it really really does if you know that you want more than one kid and something happens and you feel like what am i going to do now it was a very good business move on her part to stick to the marriage, stick in the marriage, and have the kids that she wants to have with just one person. So she only has 
one person that she has to deal with as far as co-parenting or anything else. And then later on, she can decide on what she wants to do. Should anything come back up that is not in the favor of the relationship and not in the favor of offset as far as the relationship is concerned. So this is a very smart lady. I think that Cardi B is extremely blessed. I think we all know that, but I think that also a lot of people underestimate Cardi B and they underestimate her, her savviness, right? And they do it just because of the way that she talks. But like I always say, definitely not judging a book by its cover is very, very important, especially in these types of circumstances. And as Cardi B has taught us that you can't judge a book by its cover. And this is the perfect example of that. This is the perfect example of that quote. You cannot judge a book by its cover. Well, that's about it for me, you guys. I wanted to really make this video and bring that to the light because it's so important, especially within the mental health realm for us to keep this in mind and for us to do our best to keep the correct perspective on a daily basis. If you enjoyed this video, again, make sure to smash that like button and the subscribe button as well. And also comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what type of content you wanna see me make more of. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya, bye.